I'm going to be doing a material swap today on a radial slider. I use this for skin tones, like this. Get over there. Here we go. So, like this one. So this is actually a radial menu on my hand, and you just scroll through the values. So you're gonna create your skin parameter. You just want to name it something very simple like skin, and that's gonna be a float. So then you go to your parameters and you add a float parameter. And it has to be named exactly the same thing. It is case sensitive as well. So then now in your layers, uh, you're gonna add your skin tone. Add that way to one. And if you use cams tutorial for turning right defaults off on all of these, you are not going to put an avatar mask here. It will not work in game. So now here, you're just gonna create state new blend tree and actually we're gonna make the animations for her so put your fx layer here make sure that actually went okay so now animations click on her create new clip i'm gonna make the tan animation so my mid-tone and i'm just going to duplicate my avatar and hit record on this and then have it organized so my bottom materials are in the same place and so now you're just gonna drag these materials on i don't know why it does that but now i have this and this is just going to be your standard one frame animation. So you're just going to copy and paste that. And so now when you preview, you should have your mid-tone. And you can play it to make sure nothing's flickering. And then create your next one. You can have as many of these as you want on this parameter. It's just going to be harder to control. So now, record. Put your skin tones on and you're just going to copy and paste those. And now to make the pale one, you're just going to want to throw these materials on it uh, so you can actually record the pale one. So now I can actually throw these materials on her. So now when I go into my animator, go into this blend tree, uh, I, if you have more than one float, you're going to need to change the parameter to your skin. And now you can add three motion fields, and you're just going to find where those animations went. Mine are here. So you drag in the first one, the second, now the third. And now you have your one tray. So now when I go into play mode, drag my animator down here, click on your avatar, and scroll through these values, and you should have your material toggle on the radial menu. But don't forget to actually add this to your menu. So you're just going to scroll down, add control, and now the type is going to be the radial puppet, and your parameter rotation is going to be your skin. And now you're all set.